Creating a novel is a very, very creative and a complex process. And in today's video, I'm going to give you eight steps that you can take to write in your first or next novel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sharif Deloach. And on this channel, I talk about how to turn your skills into cash by providing passive income tips for writers, publishers, creators, as well as authors. Go ahead and make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also hit that notification bell. So when I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. Now let's go ahead and get started to today's content. So the first thing you want to do when it comes to your novel, you want to conceptualize your idea. So this is where you can find inspiration, and where ideas come from everywhere, like your personal experience, your history, um, check out those dreams that you had, um, observation. You can identify what excites you to explore, to write about, and go ahead and start writing, all right? You want to next define that premise as well. So you want to summarize the core idea for your novel just in a few sentences, okay? Just maybe two to three sentences, you want to summarize what your idea is for your novel novel. Um, this will actually serve as a foundation of your story. Okay. The next thing you want to do, which is step number two, you want to develop your character. So find inspiration, um, such as looking at maybe other books that you have um, had the opportunity to read, but you want to make sure that you're creating those complex characters. So your characters should have desires. They should have fears, strengths, or weaknesses. Develop their background and make them feel so, so real. Now, sometimes I know some of you may be thinking, well, can they be real life people? They can, but make sure that in your book, in your novel, you're not using this opportunity to just name people in your book. Okay. You want it to be so much so that uh, when we read your book, we feel like we can identify with the person in the book, but we know it's not us. Okay. Um, your character arcs as well. This is where you decide how your characters will change and what would they learn at the end of the novel as well. This is very important. And to me, uh, writing a novel is just like uh, the soap operas. <laughs> So if you ever watch soap operas like uh, Young and the Restless, all right, those are the OGs. <laughs> If you ever watch like The Bold and the Beautiful, you have to think about those characters and the way you're taking the characters and what's the end results. And also think about too how you can make this into a series, all right? The next thing you want to do is you want to build your world. So you want to have a setting. So you want to establish the setting for your novel whether it's a real place, okay, where it's a historical place, or where it's a completely fiction world. You want to establish that world. And the Young and the Restless, this reminds me of them, they had, what is it, Genoa City? I, is the Genoa City actually a city? I'm not sure if it is or not. Let me know in the comments. But that's the world that they created around where they are, okay? World building. You want to be a world building. So if you are writing a, in a genre that, is and inspires you or that requires to have that extensive world building like fantasy or sci-fi think about the rules think about societies think about cultures within your world as well okay next we're going to outline your plot this is where you want to have structure. You want to familiarize yourself with the story structure, like um, three act structure, the hero journey, or any others that resonate with your story. I personally like the hero journey. And I, as a businesswoman, you kind of use the hero journey um, in your business with your brand as well. Um, so you want to outline. So you got to create that rough outline for your plot, um, list the major events, the plot points, decide on the the conflict and how it will be resolved. Okay. If, if, if any of this confuses you, if you write, watch the soap operas, <laughs> I think people can still call the soap operas. If you watch Young and the Restless, Bold and Beautiful, I know for a fact they still come on. Kind of watch those. I think watching some TV, sometimes watching some movies, it does help you with your writing too. Okay. I know it helps me. Uh, and it also helps you to spark some ideas too. Um, start writing. So go ahead and start your first draft. Do the beginning of writing of the first draft. Do not worry about perfection. This is not about being 
perfect, but this is about focus on telling your story from beginning to end. Okay. Then I want you to have your writing routine. So whatever this looks like for you, you can set a daily, a weekly, daily or weekly is why I don't, I don't suggest monthly if unless you really write in a really long book but you want to have a daily or weekly routine which uh works for your lifestyle um find your routine that works for you and stick with it for me i write better in the mornings okay so any other time is just a distraction for me so you have to find your time that works for you you may work a nine to five so maybe all you have is sunday morning but stick to sunday morning from 10 to 12 and you're going to write your book you stick to it there's no right or wrong answer when it comes to this book writing stuff okay uh revise and edit so self-revise so after you have completed your first draft i want you to take a break and then go back and look at it okay look for inconsistencies look for plot holes um, character development opportunities get some feedback to share your draft with trusted beta readers maybe people that you know family or friends that are maybe a writing mentor or use a writing group but make sure that you are open that's the thing you have to be open for constructive criticism you know sometimes we don't like to play about our babies when it comes to our books we don't want nobody to touch nothing or say nothing but you got to be open all right then once you have all that done then you want to go to your professional editing i definitely suggest that you consider hiring a professional editor for for developmental editing so that's the person that looks at the big picture changes and then get you a copy editor that looks for the grammar the punctuation and the spelling okay if you feel satisfied with those two if you don't then go ahead and get someone to proofread it before it goes to publishing okay then you want to prepare for publishing it's very important that you know and decide on your publishing routine i want you to research whether traditional publishing or self-publishing suits your goals better i did a previous video on how to write your book in 2024 and i mentioned the different types of publishing but just know that traditional publishing is one of those you want to research for that because you got to get a query agent and they're going to basically shop your book around but then you also have self-publishing that's what it is it's self-publishing you do everything yourself net not necessary everything that means you can have you can hire an editor and you're responsible for finding the editor, communicating with the editor, you're the front person. You have a third way, which is the hybrid way. This is a, co a company that offers publishing services. So this is a hybrid publisher. They may also also be known as like small presses. So think about those as well that you can have um, your books to be you know edit, uh, published as well okay so think about that um, now with the hybrid publisher they are going to charge you for the editing they're going to charge you for everything because all what they're doing is providing the services and the fee that you pay them is what the what the services cover okay so again you may see small presses um, publishing companies anybody that has like a public they say that they are a publisher or a publishing company ask them what type of publisher are they you know are you a traditional publisher or are you a hybrid publisher okay they say there's another word that they call vanity publishers now vanity publishers i'm not sure where that word comes from but you um, do your research no matter what they call themselves do your research um and some things that you can look at make sure you look at what type of books they publish make sure do they publish novels you want to get a publisher that publishes novels you don't want to get anybody that just does anything but get a publisher that's specific to novels if they have published a novel before um, ask them to see their work, okay? Ask them to see their work. If they can't allow you to see their work, go to somewhere else. Don't give anybody your heart or money, but make sure you, you know, you want to make sure that you you do that, okay? So I want you to be aware of that. Once after that, I want you to, after you do that, we're going to prepare. Uh, we already prepared for publishing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got off track. We're going to market uh, the novel. Okay. This is the last step is when we're going to market the novel. This is where you're going to build a author platform. So creating a website, I highly suggest that you as a person that is creating your novel, 
have a website, okay? Start a blog, engage with your readers on social media. Um, a lot of authors is where I see that works well is having like a Patreon. This is where you can give them um, the timeline of your book. They get like more of exclusive access to you as the author. You can also show them some ways that you use to write and publish your book and you can be a guide for them. So try that as well. With your marketing and your promotion, you want to plan your book launch. Okay. Plan your book launch. You have reading so you can do different uh, readers. I know that the libraries, I think that's the best kept secrets is your local libraries look into your local libraries they will have resources and ways that you can promote sometimes they may even allow you to have a a reader at the library okay but you want to attract your readers so you want to always constantly market your novel and there are three ways that you there are three stages to your marketing you got your pre-launch okay this is what you do before the book is done and you have the actual launch what you do when the book has launched already and then you have your post launch which a lot of authors fall off sometimes is you have your post launch and sometimes going into your post launch is going into the next book that you're going to write okay let me provide you with some additional tips that i know that will help you is to read widely okay read books within your genre and read books outside your genre that helps you to spark ideas it helps you to really improve your writing as well okay so i write books that are non-fiction business books for women about publishing those are the type of books that i write but i love to read some romance books some fiction books it does help you with your writing and it helps you to you know go to another level when it comes to your uh, reading and your writing you i want you to also join writing communities and connect with other writers and for support for feedback and for networking i cannot tell you how amazing this is for you to have a community of individuals that are going in the same direction as you. There's nothing like that. And you want to be amongst those that are writing their books as well. Another thing that I want you to make sure that you take note of in your mind is to stay persistent because writing a novel is a marathon. It is not a sprint, honey. Okay. So I want you to stay focused on your goals and I do not want you to give up. Write your novel novel and put it out there. When you are writing your novel, I want novel, I want you to remember that it is definitely a deeply and a personal and a rewarding process. Everybody's journey is different, unique, but I want you to take these steps and so it can help you with your creative process and remember that the important step of them all that I have given you today is to just start writing, okay? Go ahead and get to it, all right? If you're a writer, a publisher, a creative, I would love for you to join my daily newsletter where I send out three quick and valuable resources to help you to elevate your digital publishing business every single day. All right. It's free and I'll put the link in the description. All right. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you'd be great and, and go and write your novel because we are looking for it. Talk soon.